Hello everybody, you're here with Claudu Beauty. Thank you very much for tuning in. You're with Claudia Lara, your host. So today I would like to talk to you a little bit about primers or illuminators or whatever goes under your foundation. Uh, and this goes after your skincare. So I have several that I wanna share with you. And to me, this is sort of the, the secret uh, for many looks because uh, it really is the one that helps you uh, glow from within, give you that that kind of um, uh, you know look or pretending. <laughs> um, and so I think a lot of women at the beginning they don't realize how important that part is. They think the foundation, and some foundations have tried to incorporate it, but I don't think it looks the same. I don't think it looks that great uh, or that good. Why? Because when you have, a, for example, a glowing foundation, it might get too glowy, too oily, or things of that nature. And we'll talk about foundations in another video, but I wanted to talk about this primer or illuminating uh, you know, step, which I think is the most important or very important in, in applying makeup, even if it's a natural look, it's specifically if it's a natural look, I think. So let's begin. So there's several of my favorites. Um, for the longest time, the longest time, one of my favorites was the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. Um, this one, um, it, uh, it was, it came out a long time ago, but it was when it first started, you know, all this glowiness and glowing and highlights because it was not always the case. So, uh, when all of that started to come out, uh, I discovered this. And I discovered in one of those samples at Sephora, sometimes sand, and it lasts forever. I think I actually still have some of that samples and it still works. So I'm talking, you know, maybe I should retire them now. <laughs> but I kept them because that's what I used to travel with. But you really need so little amount of course, there's the people that like to just put it all over the face. That doesn't work for me. I like uh, just use it as a highlight and a little glow here and there. So it was not after later that I ended up actually buying. I think this was the full size. Um, and, uh, and I still have it and I still pull it out once in a while. So what do I do with this? So I apply just a tiny bit and I put it as a highlight. I put it here, I might put it there on top here, you know, here, all the places that you would naturally highlight. And now highlight is such a, a, a kind of the norm or the natural thing. Everybody's highlighting. It might be now slowing down actually, although there's still a lot of highlights coming up. So who knows? But, um, but when this first came out, it was supposed to be used all over the face. So you would apply it all over and uh, it would obviously uh, make your foundation last longer and make it glowy and, and radiant and all of these great things. But to me, uh, that's where I would apply it, just as a highlight underneath Then put my foundation. And for the longest time together with this, I used to use Dior Forever and it was a perfect pair according to me. <laughs> then of course, let's say I really did not want it that glow from within then I will use the Dior Primer. Let me, let me get that. Okay, I'm back. So um, if I wouldn't use that one because the Lara Mercier was mostly used for where I would want it to go out, be a little more uh, up and beaten, right? When I used to go to work, then I would just use the Dior Skin Forever Base Tint. And uh, the reason I would use this is because I felt my foundation last a lot longer. It actually looked more uh, kept or done or, or beautiful. And this one has the SPF. So it was sort of the, my idea of, of, you know, suntan lotion without putting the suntan lotion. Because every time I tried any of those uh, suntan lotion under, it would, my skin will itch most of the day. So I couldn't wear just those. I would use either a moisturizer with some SPF. At the time, I think I was using Lancome, which did wonders for me. And that one had SPF, which was great. And then I would put this, which had SPF. So I felt covered in that sense. And this one really made my foundation last 
all day without issues. Now, there's some people that use uh, this kind of base uh, instead of foundation because it has some blurring qualities and it has a little bit of something, something that I wouldn't say tinted because then there's the tinted moisturizers, but it, it just did something. For me, most products irritate me slightly. I have very sensitive skin, so it will bring out my redness. And really, I couldn't just wear the base. It was never my thing. Perhaps once younger climbing or things like that, I tried it, but I don't think I ever liked it just like that. I have other products if I wanted to go that easy. And, and I'll talk to you about them. So, uh, so this primer I would use like that. And if I really wanted a little glowiness, I would just put tiny, 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 I'm talking tiny of this, but this mostly was more for going out. But again, you could use it for during the day. All right, so later on, you know, they started coming out things, I don't know if you remember, like Smudgebox for uh, photo finish. This is when the cells started to come out and all these picture things. and. And so now everybody in the real world every day, not in photo shoot modeling, wanted some makeup that looked good on camera. Uh, and so this one was a big one, photo finish. And so this one was one of those that on camera looked amazing, didn't have a flash thing. Uh, and of course it did help with your foundation to last longer. But to me, because of my sensitive skin, this kind of thing, and this was not the only one that I tried, but um, it was very uncomfortable to wear in, in my skin. Uh, for other people, family members, friends, it didn't bother them a lot at all. So, you know, who knows? Me, uh, that's why I look, it's still full. And, and I have others that I toss away, etc. And this will go because uh, I think it's old and I should uh, get rid of it by now. So now, what do I use now? Laura Mercier is not one of the ones I pull the most nowadays, but I still pull it once in a while. So I'll tell you that my biggest winner, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that a little bit in the middle. So the other two, let's say La Mercier number three now, uh, the Dior Skin Forever, of course, is used for something different and I barely use it nowadays. And I think it has a little bit of mattifying effect and I don't use a full foundation that much anymore. So i recommending it because I know it works and I like it. Uh, but um, the illuminating highlight primers that I use now, let's say Laura Mercier is number three. And then uh, in number two, I'm gonna put this two. Uh, actually, I should put three, but... <laughs> well, this is not called best, right? Or number one of each category. So I'm gonna mention all of them, you decide. Uh, so I have the Hollywood Flawless from Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, I have two of the Chanel. I have Le Beige. Uh, one is Le Blanc, which is pinkish, and one is Le Beige, which is more beige. And then, uh, of course, you heard me talk about the Lisa Eldridge Elevated Glow. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you the little differences and why I would use one versus the other. So the, and if you wanna see swatches of this, let me know and, and I can do them and maybe apply them in a, in a short video because if not, it will get too long and we'll stay just on this. Or maybe I'll include it. Let's see what we do with time. But, so the Hollywood Flawless. Now, if you heard me talk about Charlotte Tilbury, which I love and I have a lot of her line, um, but I always say she's all about gold and rose and gold and rose are not my, uh, which I am wearing by the way, rose gold in my eyelids. Uh, if you want to see how I created this look, please, I'm going to link the, the video below. Uh, so most of her specially face items tend to that golden, uh, or rose, uh, kind of bronze, uh, sort of looks. Now that is very flattening, flattering in many, many skin tones. Um, and especially even with brown hair or red hair or blonde or things like that. Um, but those two colors on my skin, which is yellowish uh, or neutral and a little bit on the cool side, don't work that well. And even further, now that I have white and black, grayish, uh, peppery kind of hair. Now the rose gold, I mean, it's just a combination is working less and less and less. So uh, I mentioned all of this because if you're blonde and uh, you know, all of those 
suntan, you know, brownish, bronzer, all of that. It, you, you go for that look or it goes well with that look, very bare uh, lips and, and it's a very lovely look. I wish I can pull it off <laughs> or that it looks the best on me, but it doesn't. Uh, this is lovely. That's why it's rave about and that's why people love it. To me, not so much. However, I still use it. Like today I use it underneath this is what i'm wearing um it gave me that golden sort of look which maybe more for summer but i'm not big on the look but it, it, it works that's why i have it i have it in, in in light clear which is number two um but i'll tell you a new discover i did from one of the youtubers youtubers which i don't remember her name now but uh, she was recommending this as a um, what do you, um, under the eyes, you know, kind of inside and down and then over here and then over here, you know, kind of anywhere where you want more light or uplifting, not necessarily glowiness or highlight, but just a little more light. And I tried it today for the very first time and I did like it. I feel my eyes a little irritated, maybe because I put it too close. Who knows? My eyes are very sensitive, uh, but most people are not. And so I like that idea. I liked it a lot. And I didn't use a concealer. Concealer was the word I was looking. So I'm not wearing any concealer. I'm just wearing this and a little bit of highlight. So it did um, give me a beautiful look. And so again, this uh, item is very, very versatile. versatile and, um, and so I like it and I'm glad I have it. However, it's not the natural clean sort of look like Westman Atelier. Like I do my Charlotte Tilbury corrector, which you heard me talk about often. Like this is, I don't even feel it in my eyes. I don't even feel it. It corrects a little bit. So this is what I use instead. I don't use the concealer. And, but it doesn't cover as much as today. So again, every day, this one, corrector, Charlotte Tilbury. But I'm telling you about this illuminator corrector when you're doing a little fuller look, a little more makeup. There you go. Uh, the this too. The reason I bought this pink queen first, it is an online or Chanel.com uh, exclusive thing, whatever. And they came up, and I wanted it, and and I didn't like that it was pinkish, but uh, that's what they had, and so I ordered it. I barely have used it because I ordered it online. It ended up being more pink than I would have liked it because my skin is neutral to yellowish. So if you're the kind that has more red in your skin or are benefit for all the pink, the pinkish sort of thing, toned skin, I'm not talking about eyeshadows or blush. I'm talking about this the, the skin, right? Uh, it, this is amazing. It's lovely. Actually, Lisa Eldridge, uh, has highlighters and I bought the more champagne yellowish tone. She has also a pinkish, a more pink towards. And so again, I, I love this product. So I liked it so much, not so much the color, that that's the reason I got when they came up with this one, which is more yellowish champagne, uh, pinkish illuminator. And they also have one that I think is more bronzing, more the copper or, you know, darker color so everybody talks great about this product chanel i mean you can't really go wrong so i do like it it does what it says i do pull it out here and there uh it's a little heavier than i would like i don't know how to explain that uh what i say is heavier than the flawless no not really uh but for some reason i just feel it stickier or thicker as I apply it. Uh, it obviously blends perfectly, absorbs perfectly, but I feel like, you know, when you're putting a layer of a product on top, I don't know, that's the best I can explain it. So for some reason, this will be the one that I have pulled out the least. That doesn't mean that, you know, I go into stages and out of the sudden I fall in love with one or I fall in love with the other one. For example, this one I haven't pulled out forever. And now that I heard that trick and, and I've been pulling it out a lot more. And last but not least from this three is the one I pull the most, which is the Lisa Eldridge Elevated Glow. And I have it in Crystal Nebula. I love this because it's light, it spreads out. So I don't feel that thickness that I was talking about Chanel. Uh, 
and it just gives me a little spark. Sometimes even that spark that probably you only see it in camera and when the light hits when you move. So I think this probably is the most subtle of the three. Um, and we're talking all three are subtle. Don't get me wrong. We're not, you know, this, these are very, very similar in the context of what they're for. They all, you know, go perfectly. You don't see them. They look natural and all these things. Uh, but within that frame, um, I do find the consistency of this more. I forget it's even there. Uh, this one, I'm like, eh, a little bit forgot or not. Like, I, I don't remember I put this on really. And then this one, I don't know, a little more hesitant about it, but they all perfect products. So if you can get one of these ones, you know, it, it's useful. But we're not a number one now. So let me continue and we're almost done. Don't think I'm gonna go on forever on this. So I have, oh, and I didn't bring it here, but I have, and you heard me recently talking about, I ordered the Victoria Beckham, the skin sort of um, thing that is the serum. And then there's a primer moisturizing protector illuminator sort of thing, but it's supposed to be in this arena uh, as a priming before makeup, but she kind of put all of it in once. And it is uh, a cell rejuvenating kind of regime. And um, I've been using that. Um, and no, I wouldn't put it in this category at all. I wouldn't even pull it in the primer category. I've heard other people really, really like it and they say it gives it a shine to the face. I mean, even Victoria Beckham says you can wear that and that only because it has some blurring um, and skin kind of putting it all in the same color and things like that. Um, I don't find it all of those claims at all and i'll tell you why so if you have big pores large pores maybe it might work for that i don't know because i don't have large pores i, I don't have that issue i don't work with that issue so i don't know um i do have wrinkles you see and um i would think that might be feel them in a little bit blurring in that sense because there are some products that do that uh they don't disappear but because they're sort of fill in I don't find uh, that product does that for me. So, and uh, it might make my foundation long, long lasting. I'm not very sure because I don't wear that much foundation anymore. So I wouldn't even go that far or wear that for that reason. I'm still wearing it because of the skin benefits and just to see <laughs> if anything happens. But I wouldn't put it in this category. I'm sorry, I just wouldn't. And the glow that it gives, the illuminating that it does, I I don't see it. I don't feel more beautiful or more glowy or more anything when I wear it. So I'm still figuring out uh, if I'm gonna continue with the product. I, I don't think I will repurchase. And I'm just starting to, to continue to see what the benefit or what I would use it for. But um, so there you have it. So the other one that I did reason discover that I fell in love with it and I, I tried it in a tester, I talked about this before, and then I actually bought the full size and I am in love, was in love, and I had to interrupt using it because I've been trying all the other ones, but I'm um, getting ready to go back and I really like it. And it's actually the one that replaced my Laura Mercier because ting, 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 this is the Bobbi Brown Extra Bare Glow. So this one is Illuminating and Moisture Balm. Now this one was a big surprise for me. I didn't know about it. I don't even know if it's new or new just to me. It seems like it's sort of new to the line. Not totally sure, but I love this product. Uh, so let, let me tell you why. Uh, so I don't use it as an illuminator like I would use the Laura Mercier. So before, probably I would use Laura Mercier under my foundation and that would be it. Now, I would use this all over and that's what I would use probably every day. Uh, and then if I'm really putting a little more makeup, I would this this all over and then one of these three that I told you just on the highlighting areas. Uh, so it, obviously if I wanted a very matte look or everything like that, then I wouldn't use this. This is when you want glowing, natural, nice. 
but I love it because it doesn't make it over glowy or over radiant or over perfect. No, it just gives me a nice looking, fresh, feel good, and I forget it's there. Uh, sort of, this is what I thought the Victoria Beckham was gonna do for me. And this is what I heard for other people it does for them. They say, oh, she even has a golden color, more golden instead I, I order the natural. And they love it. Most likely um, the people that would like this kind of golden, a little golden, golden to it, right? So to me, that doesn't work. Now, Bobby Brown, the whole line, just like Charlotte Tilbury tends to that rose gold sort of thing throughout, uh, Bobby Brown tends to more natural, neutral, cooler, like me. So usually a lot of her colors work for me. Yes, she has some darker colors, which apply only to a uh, darker skin, but I'm, ta I'm talking about the tendency or the color behind it or things like that. For example, for Chanel, even though she has great reds and, and cooler tones and everything else, I always feel there's a tendency to this, um, I don't know if it's metallic gray or olive green, sort of. I mean, everything I see has a little bit of a touch of that. I mean, yeah, don't don't get after me. She has a lot of quads that don't, you know, reds, oranges, purples, whatever. But uh, when we're talking about neutrals or the usual, I always have this tendency, the same as the other ones I just mentioned. So Bobby Brown, this is my new favorite illuminator moisturizing balm. I use it after my moisturizing. Now, please take in consideration, I have very dry skin. And so uh, if you have normal combination, well, I might have normal, but towards dry, but uh, I don't have dry with acne tendency. So I know even for foundations or other skin products, if you have dry but acne prone, uh, the products work differently. You might get a little oily towards the end of the night. So I don't know how would that perform with you if that's your case but I have dry, sensitive skin, not prone to acne, and prone to uh, redness and, and sensibility, eating, inflammation. And uh, so this moisture and the illuminator, it's, this is what I go for now. I'm not wearing it today, but definitely. So what else should I say about primers? I think I covered, hold on one second. I'll do one last mention. This is the moisturizing tint. I don't know why I even mention it. Just because the bottle remind me a lot of the Dior. <laughs> this is base. And I actually bought this thinking sort of, this is a primer, sort of the same thing, but they don't work about the same thing. Moisturizing tints, I believe they're in a completely different category. And so I guess that's why I pull it out. I just wanted you to know that I'm not mixing um, those things. A primer does one thing, and now this illuminating highlight sort of thing under makeup, that's another thing. So um, the moisturizing tints, which I have several, or SPF, things like that, I will mention on the foundation video. So check that out if you want to see even my review of this. Um, give me one second. Okay, so I am back. Um, I also want to mention this last product, Sisley. Uh, Sisley, this is a tinted sunscreen cream. So this is sunscreen with tinted uh, SPF 30. So I've heard other YouTubers, uh, especially one of my favorite, Michelle Wang, uh, raved about this. This is actually why I bought it. Uh, so I will tell you my thoughts. It's not my favorite. I defer, but probably because of my skin color or other tendencies of my skin. But I'm going to include uh, my comments on this on the video on foundation. So uh, if you're interested on those comments on this too, uh, just because I had to mention them here because it's moisturizing tint and sunscreen cream. And since we're talking about primers or things that go below your makeup, I thought it was important for me to mention them, but um, but I don't think they're in the same category at all. So I think that's it for today. I really hope that this was helpful to you. I didn't know if, uh, if this was important even, but I believe if you want a good glowing, even if it's a natural look, even if it's very minimum makeup, 
uh, knowing the what can go under it is uh, most important. I know some people think you can just use like some of these highlighters I mentioned uh, with bare skin and that's it. You don't have to put uh, more makeup to it or even put it in just cover little here's and there. I haven't used it like that. Uh, it, no, I mean, because I think it's makeup and I will use it if I'm putting a little more uh, than just a bare skin. If I do a bare skin, you can look at my videos of what I do and I don't do this part. Uh, I do a more natural look and, and other products for that and, and you'll hear me talk about them in the foundation categories. Um, so, okay, this is it. Thank you very much for watching. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, refer me if you can. I'm trying to grow it. And uh, I really appreciate you being here. Please ring the bell on the right hand corner of your screen. That will let you know when I upload videos. And most important, please comment, request, suggest. Tell me what you think of these products. Tell me if you have one that you prefer and that you love and you like. Um, I'm always, and I'm already learning quite a bit from you guys in many of your suggestions and comments and, and even sharings. Uh, one of you said that this is a way to be linked and I love uh, that she said that so you know who you are. And, uh, and yes, we are linked either by skin color, by eye color, by the love of makeup, by the love of certain brands, or by just being here together as you watch me as I create. And so, hey, keep on watching. Thank you. Next time. Bye.